I'm going to do something that's been done before, and besides, I really don't have time to do them separately. What we're going to do, we're going to do two unboxings in one sitting. Not exactly one take, but we're going to do it in one sitting. On the left is probably that Windmaker, and on the right is my General Electric Hunter Robbins Myers Freak Fan type thing. We're going to unbox the box first. So, if we're ready, let's go! Here's the other one. This one I'm definitely sure is the Windmaker. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, yeah, I got this because, well, it's actually the fan that is on my warrant list. Yes, I have the 12 inch one, but that one's not exactly the one on my warrant list, but I said I take my any victory that I can get. Well, this one's the one on my warrant list. And I got this earlier this year, I think February, and it's kind of been sitting ever since. So, let's do this. Okay, it's a box. Awesome. I'm just tearing it. 
and a box. Since they're both out of the box, let's take a closer look at them. The one on the left is definitely the windmaker that I had, or that I remembered back in my elementary school days, which I'm sure I explained the entire thing in my video about the other windmaker. You can take a look at it if you want. I can wait. But yeah. Bill Rich Manufacturing Company, Windmaker, Houston, Texas, 77055. So I'm guessing this was probably uh, 70s, because they had the zip code and stuff. And take a look at the back. Yeah. Metal hub. Three speeds. And it's from the Phil Rich Manufacturing Company, Houston, Texas, 77055. 115 volts, 60 cycles, 1.9 amps. We'll determine that. 1050 RPM. Let's see if I can zoom in. And it's. Well, I can read it. I'm trying to get it on the camera viewfinder. Windmaker model S17 3 speed. So, yeah, it's a 17 inch, but it could probably be an, could pass for an 18 inch. And if you notice on the back, no oiling required. You know what? Time for a meeting. We're going to have to have a meeting on that. So, yeah. Set that aside, and I'll explain why I think it's debatable about the uh, amperage in a moment. And right here is the one that I told everybody, freak fan alert, freak fan alert, because I saw this on eBay, and uh, and it is in fact a freak fan, <laughs> because the body, everything else, is a General Electric, but the blade isn't. I think it's one of those General Airs or General Bell Airs or whatever. It's kind of like those generic seven wing blades in the 70s, but the motor on the back is a Hunter or a Robbins and Myers if you want to be technical. And um, it seems to be done pretty well, but the seller made a point that it was probably modified and it used to be a three speed, but it's now two speed. And I'll show that off in a minute. 
and we'll take a look at the underside because I found the model number. I'm going to do this one handed without dropping it for the camera. There we go. Sorry about that. Upside down. Upside down, you'll turn me. Well, I can make it out. I don't know about you. But yeah. General Electric Portal Fan Calicon F13W. So it is an F13W. I'll see if I can get a better shot of this and maybe get a still pick of it. I don't know. Well, let me put it back up and I'll show you how it runs. All right. We're back up. So let's turn these on and blow some big air, yo. So I guess if we're ready, without further ado, I turn my way around. And I tried this one out off camera. It still start off on low and then high, so. It's high on both of them. Okay, when I said that uh, we'll determine the amperage and the wattage and all that stuff earlier, I said because, yeah, I picked this up at the Harbor Freight last week, 25 bucks, but in defense, that's how much you're going to pay on eBay and you'll have to wait like a week or so. But I figured spend the extra money and get it right now, because I've been wanting to get one for a long while, because fellow YouTubers use these for their fan testing things, as well as other stuff, and I decided, why the heck not? So yeah, I'm going to get this open and we're going to test the um, current on this stuff. Alright, I got the kilowatt meter plugged in and according to this I'm running at 122 volts. So that's a little high. Maybe that would explain why I'm burning out light bulbs like all of a sudden. But yeah, and so far I got the um, F13W plugged in so we'll start off on high on this. May need to uh, tighten that blade. Okay, voltage dropped down. 2.8 amps. 190 watts. Wow. 333 volt amps. Let's try low. And the volt amperage dropped to 168, 58, 62. It's fluctuating. That one's running 121.3, 1.3 amps, and 103 watts. So, yeah. Back to high. Like I said, this test is inconclusive because I may have to tighten that thing. I mean, it blows pretty good air. Yeah, 
And let's cut it off. Yeah, I might just tighten up that blade. Okay, right now we're going to do the S17 with the with the kilowatt meter, and right now I actually have it flat on the table, so I can at least get a better reading from the camera. I have it set to amps right now, so the thing says it's supposed to run 1.9 amps at 115 volts. Since I'm running 122. We'll see what happens. Here's high. That's a little bit high. 168, 67 watts. Sixty hertz and Hey, I'm still trying to learn this thing, okay, so, but yeah, 2.4 amps is a little high, and this one's supposed to be rated at 1.9, so here's medium. Oh, that's another trip fall and kill myself. Okay, that dropped to 1.6. Running 124 watts, 122, excuse me. Yep, voltage goes down. Hey, I'm still trying to learn this, okay? And we'll go to low. Not a whole lot of difference. Of course, I think the slight breeze is happening, so cut this back to high. Yeah, 2.4 amps. So, yeah. Yeah, not bad. And off. Not bad. All right, guys. So this is going to conclude this video of the unboxing and show and tell of this uh, General Electric Robbins Myers Hunter General Air Bel Air whatever model F13W and this Windmaker from the 70s model S17. This one, I'm kind of have a soft spot for seven wing bladers, even if they are kind of freakish looking. This one is just another chapter in my life closed and another demon being buried. That's just me. I also want to make a note that I'll be now doing fan videos with this kilowatt meter plugged up to this thing. So yeah, like I said, something I've been wanting for a long time and it also helps which, is gonna be, which one's going to be more expensive to run and whether or not the amperage will kill it. I know the wolf will. But that's another story for another time. So I guess, until next time, whenever that is, and if you notice the beer's been gone, the rescue, thanks for watching, and the comment box is open.